Hi, and welcome to not another repaint video. This is the familiar I made for Magenta. I went a bit nuts with the concept, so she turned out pretty special. I started this project by painting the eyes with Colero paints, sealing them with Liquitex gloss varnish, and then using the same medium to attach the cabochons. This little creature reminded me of Val's familiar, probably because of the eyes, they looked super mysterious. I placed magenta on the side to use as an inspiration, it's always helpful to have it close so one doesn't stray from it, then I could start sculpting. I first make a base by smoothing out some polymer clay, as usual I'm using living doll clay by Super Sculpey, then I place the eyes before I work on some eyelids. Since Magenta had a skull design to her face up, I decided to give Mars a skull design. That meant that I first sculpted a sort of base before baking it in the oven for a couple of minutes. Then after baking, I continued making the edges of the skull. But before that, she got some teeth things and cheek implants. This looked weird most of the process, but I figured i go big or go home, and since I was already at home I went big, because my former guest room is now my crafting headquarters, so I added clay to make it look like a skull. Uh, looks odd, but you've seen the thumbnail to this video, it won't look like this in the end. I decided to make the arms and legs like skeleton claw things. On a side note, make sure to subscribe for future videos. I'm starting a special doll series with my next one, which I am so excited about. After baking it all, I could take it off the aluminum forms. You can probably see all the dust that's stuck on the clay, but since it won't show after painting, I don't have to care so much about it. Let's move on to the body. I use this fall lamb wool fabric, which is super soft. Trace four pieces of my familiar pattern on it, cut them out and then sew the darts. For this I use paper underneath, partially to keep my sewing machine from chewing on the fabric and partially to avoid fuss getting into the machine. Then I sew the sides, leaving a seam to turn it right side out and put stuffing into it. It also looks a bit like a sea urchin at this point. I stuff it to prepare for the cutter pin joint. It kind of looks cute with a tilting head, but this one I wanted to stand straight. Then I made the head base out of a cut circle. The cutter pin gets a metal disc and a wooden disc before I add it to the head. Then I push it through by twisting it. Then I can attach it to the body. Finally, I add another wooden and metal disc before bending the legs and twisting them with pliers. Then I can close the face with some stuffing inside. Time for some airbrushing! Nothing new, same old, same old. This time I use magenta and white only. Finally I seal it all with Liquitex matte varnish, I sprayed a bit too much and the paint hadn't properly dried, so it made the top layer crack a bit on the faceplate. It was okay though, I kind of like the effect. Over to my favorite part, hand painting. I used black 3.0 around the eyes and the mouth thingy. Then I added some sparkle with Colero paints, and I used a q-tip to get it smooth. On a whim I scraped off the paint already, I did paint some final details in the end, but you know, I didn't plan this one, there was like no concept drawing or anything, everything was very spontaneous, which is nice, not everything needs to be planned. Here are all the pieces. As you can see I painted the teeth things, but in the end I was not too fond of it, so I covered it up. Here I started to add some golden nail art studs, but again, nothing was planned. I 
I almost forgot about it again, but I managed to give her a pair of ears. I make a stitch right below the ear to make it lay flat. Sometimes it just needs the extra help. Now it's high time to close the seam in the body. Then I attach the arms and legs. I do this with the help of beads. It's always tricky to secure them. This video turned out shorter than usual, I have no idea why. I think I cut out a lot of the sculpting, but I hope that is okay. I have noticed that I cut out more footage when I'm hungry, and I have mismanaged my food intake since I got the puppy. Hangry editing makes the videos shorter, so that might be the reason. It's time to add the faceplate. I do that by using my glue gun. Then she needed some red on top of her head, and for that I used feathers. This little familiar kind of looks like a bird creature, and I mean, looking at birds of paradise, it would kind of fit in the family. Those birds are wicked. I also added some pink glitter, making her sparkly. The black on the faceplate looked odd and alone, so I sewed a piece of long-haired faux fur on the chest. It's just to make it all come together nicely. Ah oh, yes, this was when I fixed the teeth. It looked like the old Adidas logo in the end, but I'm happy with it. It also looks more like a beak this way. I usually have some custom craft thing leftovers from my repaints and this time it was spikes made out of polymer clay. I glue them on like eyelashes. Now she reminded me of my dad and his wife's metal bird that they have. It's such an awesome decoration, the colors and the style. It's, you know, it's just so cool, I'm so jealous of it. Finally I added a piece of the same lace as Magenta has as a skirt. Then she got a red bell to balance the red feathers. I left her overnight and thought I was done, but I painted some gold details around the eyes the next morning, again with Colera paints. I love how you can see my breath on the feathers, talk about breathing life into one's creation. And now I'm done with this project, my little bird. Maybe she's an owl, she'll be perfect in somebody's home. With that being said, I want to thank my Patreons, thank you so much, I hope you like this familiar. This time I've scheduled a post with a question and double checked everything. So Mars will be posted there in 36 hours this time, the first one to answer the question correctly gets her. Next video I'm starting a series of repaint with their respective familiars. It will be based on a super popular board game, but I'm not saying more than that. The first doll is already finished and I'm super 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 excited to share the process. Anyway, let me introduce Mars. She's so cool, totally weird and odd, and she makes me happy. I, I love how the pink and red works against each other, but it kind of... it still work. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos and, well, yeah, finally, I hope you have a nice day or evening, you know, depending on when you're watching this. Until next time, bye!